Uh, Ads, you were co you were correct. You were correct. You it was were better than them. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. My name is Break, and today I'm going to be breaking down the best game mode in Warzone history. No, Timmy, I'm not talking about plunder. Dude. Iron Trials 84 is awesome, bro. In the video, I'm going to be covering the following things. What is the main difference between normal Warzone and Iron Trials 84? What weapon builds you should be running? Which perks and equipment are best for this game mode? And finally, what strategies do you need to apply to win more games? I've only played this game mode for a couple of hours, but I think I learned quite a bit yesterday. I even managed to carry nearly a 4KD for the entire day. If you're new to the channel and you find this video useful, do not forget to like the video. Also consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications. This will help me out massively in the future and it costs absolutely nothing to you. What is Iron Trials 84? Think of it as an extreme Warzone Battle Royale experience. You have substantially higher base health and slower health regeneration. This means gunfights should last longer and the better player comes out on top more often. When I was playing yesterday, every gunfight I lost, I knew I'd lost it. No more losing a gunfight to someone just getting one random headshot and that being the end of the fight. Everything is more expensive at the buy station and there are no free loadouts. This will play into strategy massively. In my opinion, this is the best version of Warzone that has ever been. Let's get into the details. If you already know about the rules for Iron Trials 84, you can use the chapters below to find the bits you want in this video. So probably most of you have already seen the rules for Iron Trials 84, so I'm going to go through it quickly. The round timers have been decreased by 12% and the circle collapses 12% faster, the game should be just a little bit quicker. The most important thing in this game mode, probably, maybe the second most, there are no free loadout drops. Cash is king. You got to get a loadout, and they're more expensive, but more on that in a second. Only ATVs and dirt bikes are available. No longer can you use a TAC Rover to move a squad, a Bertha, or a Jeep. You don't have the armored vehicle advantage, so rotations are extremely important in this game mode. Buy stations. Everything is more expensive, namely UAVs from $4,000 to $6,000, loadout drop markers from ten grand to fifteen grand. Now, the, the most important thing about Iron Trials is the operator, the base health. Your base health has gone up from 100 to 250 so that means your operator, health only, has the same amount of health as you had in the old war zone with full plates. Uh, health regen has increased from 5 to 7 seconds, and region per second has gone from 120 HP to 40 HP. It takes you a long time to get full health. You can have full plates after a fight and still be regenerating health. You need to keep that in consideration. Your starting loot is a revolver, six rounds, and a sledgehammer. You need to be considerate of that. You do not want to be getting in gunfights with people that have good ground loot. You're going to get absolutely slapped down. Uh, two on me. One on me. Uh, he didn't realize that this this machine gun, this gun is just good. I'm gonna go thirst this rat real quick. Uh, got a wipe. Uh, yeah, dude, you can't just come in charging with the fucking magnum when I've got a a decent ground loot gun. It's just not gonna work. The ground loot is very good. Most of the guns have a good sized magazine to deal with the higher health. There's not that much, you know, high tier loot that spawns. But sometimes, if you do get a legendary gun off of the ground, you can run with that for quite a while. There's not as much cash lying around. And there's a couple of classified weapons that have more than five attachments, I believe. So when you get one of these, you might just get ghost out of your loadout with an SMG and call it a day. Not as many kill streaks. And UAVs in ground loot is pretty rare. Small cash piles are more frequent than big cash piles. And the best part of this game mode, there's no dead silence and there's no stopping rounds. Period. Sniper rifles have been nerfed only within 30 meter headshot as a down. Stuns are massively reduced effect by 50%. Medical syringes decrease the regeneration rate by half. Those could come in useful. I didn't mess with them too much yesterday. No, no crappy guns in the gulag. And whatever you win the gulag with, you're coming back into the game. Got one. Fuck you. Coming out from my side? Yeah. Got him. More? No, that's them. That was him. Here? Look at that ping. Look at that ping. Judge Dredd get absolutely f***. Now, 
what is the best loadout for Iron Trials 84? Your initial reaction might tell you to get an LMG with a big magazine on it, but realistically, a 60 round mag on most of the normal ARs will be just fine, especially considering we're running duos only. If Raven decide to add trios or quads later, probably the bigger mags will come into play. But right now, I've, I ran the AK all day yesterday and it was fantastic. You'll probably see most of the top players running a 45 round mag in their AK. I ran the 60 round mag. It gives me a little bit more flexibility, but it's just a classic uh, AK build right now. Uh, Gru suppressor, 20 inch Spets barrel, 3X Spets foregrip, and the 60 round mag. This thing was spectacular all day yesterday. SMGs, again, the same story. You don't really need a huge magazine. I think this is probably not the best Mac 10 build, but this is what I ran yesterday. Suppressor, uh, 5.9 Task Force Barrel, Field Agent, Stanag 53 round drum. The, these guns worked perfectly. Unless you're an excellent sniper, probably sniper rifles are not going to be the one. You'll have to hit headshot within 30 meters to mit down an enemy, which is fine. But at longer ranges, you'll have to land multiple shots to even get it down. So I think AR is the ticket right now in Iron Trials 84. So perks, what perks should be you be running? Let's go through the perk slots. Um, perk one, probably double time. And here's here's the thing that might help you in Iron Trials because the health regen is so slow. Quick fix can be a massive player. I ran this for most of the day. So I'm not sure if it's the one, but definitely double time or quick fix. EOD, probably not that important considering you have 250 health. So even if you're cracked, unless you're sitting on it Simtex, it's probably not going to kill you. That was fine. Perk two, honestly, tempered came into play a little bit when I'd come up against some enemies and they could replay it quickly, but probably your first loadout, you're going to want to get overkill. A lot of people went ghost in this. So probably your perk two slot is going to be tempered, overkill, or ghost. High alert, not, not great because at the end of the day, when you get shot, you at least have time to react to it and relocate. If you're out in the open, you're in trouble, but uh, I think, I think probably my, my go-to would be um, overkill on your first loadout and then either get tempered or ghost as for perk three combat scout really doesn't help you that much i don't think at all i just ran amped the whole time faster weapon swap so when you do get in a gunfight you could swap guns quickly i think amped is the amped is the go-to for perk three no question so most of the time yesterday i was running quick fix overkill and amped as far as equipment lethal equipment i was just using throwing knives for finishes but probably thermites or throwing knives Maybe Simtex. Um, tactical heartbeat. The range on the heartbeat is reduced. It does help a little bit. Stuns. I think maybe once I got stunned and twice I got stunned and it, was, it wasn't it was that disruptive. You know, it's a lot lower effect now. If you, if you stun someone, you need to be right up on them and able to push them immediately. Otherwise, stuns are not the one. One thing I did not mess with at all yesterday, which I think is probably going to be interesting for Iron Trials, is the stim. I think the stim could be clutch in a couple situations, but for the most part, uh, I ran heartbeat and knives. This guy's one top. So in summary, probably best perks to be considering for this game mode, quick fix and tempered might be a little bit more valuable. Guns, use a standard AR and SMG build. You don't need to do anything crazy for this game mode, especially since it's duos. If they change it in the future, definitely consider it larger magazines but right now um guns with high damage output like the ak if you can hit your shots repeatedly the ak is spectacular i believe jobo even said his solo quads pr with this build but with the 45 round mag recently so uh the big guys are running these guns the ak is awesome if you can hit your shots yesterday ads and i were experimenting with the game mode and you really do not need to change that much of your strategy you just can't be as careless as you can get away with in normal war zone higher time to kill means the better player will win most of the gunfights you're not going to get randomly headshot by a person um and and lose the fight to one hp even though you got the turn on them the better gamer will win more of the gunfights. Get ahead of rotations, play smart. Don't engage gunfights from outside of the circle that you know you can't win, especially if the enemy has good cover. I mean, that's common sense, but I, I dropped the ball on that once and that was pretty embarrassing. The regains were pretty difficult, but for the most part, most people are looking to get cash to get their loadout through the game. And if they're a bit slow, if you can take, if you can get some reasonable ground loot and take out a team that's trying to get their loadout, you can get cash off of other teams pretty quickly in the regain. Uh, we did that several times. So the regains are not as hard, but you definitely have to think a lot more ahead than you would have to in normal Warzone. 
it's one of the best game modes I've ever played in Warzone. I liked it even more than Battle Royale Classic, so ground loot only. I highly recommend it. Find it, find a good duos partner with good communication. Play smart. Don't rush your gunfights. You can take your time. Don't get caught out in the open and have a blast. Let me know what you think about Iron Trials 84. Do you think it should be a permanent addition to the playlist? I would love it if it was in the playlist. It's It was the most fun I've had playing Verdansk in months and months. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Down one, down one, down one, one's up. His buddy's crawling back. He's going to crack the other, crack the other, crack. Keep those shots up. It's wonderful work, wonderful work. Down one again. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Did we just drop in a game of Iron Trials 84 and you dropped a 20 and I've, you've carried me on your back, but I'm, I'm glad to be here. That's how we play Iron Trials 84. That's...